Hey guys, welcome back to Theme Hospital. We're here on mission five and let's slow the game down. Uh, this will be a busy hospital dealing with a wide variety of cases. Your doctors are all fresh from med school, so it's going to be vital to build a training room and train them uh, to acceptable levels. Oh, we can actually pause the game like that. Uh, if you only have three, you only have three consultants to help teach your inexperienced staff, so keep them happy. Note too that the hospital's foundations straddle the San and Android geological fault. There's the ever-present risk of earthquakes. They will cause significant damage to your machines and disrupt the smooth running of your hospital. Get your reputation up to the 400 mark and bank a cool 50,000 to succeed. Also cure 200 patients. All right, so one thing, uh, well, looking at this hospital, we got some uh, pretty decent area to work with. Where's the helipad? There's the helipad, so emergencies are gonna come in from the back here. I'm pretty sure that's the back. Yeah, so the, the front, I think they will come from this direction. I'm not too sure. Or maybe, oh no, there. They'll, they'll come in from this direction. So, one thing I did notice from the last mission is that the training room can be set up straight away. And we're probably going to need a pretty decent one, uh, which is quite big. Uh, I suppose this big will do, actually. Let's do that. We'll get the doors in and lots of windows. There's space for another room there. Uh, and we can get the projector up in the, the corner there, and the lecture chairs. Let's get a whole bunch of them, and the radiator, a bookcase and skeleton as well. And that should keep people happy. So, let's uh, get all these chairs lined up by the door like that, and we could probably get, let's see, a couple extras like that, and then we can put the skeleton and the bookshelf right there and then a radiator in the middle. Okay, good. So, let's see, what doctors do we have here? We have a consultant psychiatrist, a consultant researcher, and a consultant surgeon. Uh, surgeons are always tricky to get, really. And it looks like we got a lot of inexperienced doctors here. I wanna hire the ones which are already doctors, not juniors, and give them abilities. So let's see. Uh, we need surgeons most of all because the operating theater doesn't work unless um, there's two surgeons. So I'm gonna hire these psychiatrists, not that one. I'm gonna hire this psychiatrist and put him in a chair there. I'm gonna hire this guy, I guess. Put him in a chair there. And I'm gonna hire one more doctor. There, this guy. I'm gonna hire him and I'm gonna pick up the surgeon and make him teach them. There we go, we got doctors learning there. And uh, we should be able to give them some surgeon skills and, and probably make them consultants as well. So that seems good. And besides that, we can get our things going. So let's build our reception desk first. Uh, get that sorted. So they're gonna be coming from this direction. So can it actually fit in this hallway? That seems like a bad idea, actually. Let's uh, get the reception desk set up like this and it's my most hated song again so let's turn that off i always forget to turn that off uh, and get a nice lovely receptionist there we go good one miss wyler has a hgv license good natured and very hard working sounds like a great receptionist now let's get our diagnoses room set up we're gonna need two gps offices which we could set up just like this uh, we got plenty of room here this is a uh, one, two, three, four, five. That's, yeah, equal size GP's offices. Uh, we can put a door right there, two windows. And we'll need the, the desk, the filing cabinet, and the chair. There we go. And we're gonna get a second GP's office because that's always handy. And put that down there. We follow the same build, like that, uh, like, that, I think it's here, yep, and like that. There we go, put the patient chair near the door, it's efficiency. And then besides that, we're gonna need general diagnosis, which we can put over here, just like that. Put the door there, and we're gonna need the screen and the trolley, just like that, I think. Yep, and what else? Psychiatric? Um, Psychiatric or should I put... Yeah, I'm gonna put psychiatric here. And it doesn't have to be too big. I wanna be space efficient here. 
because uh, it's, it's very important to be space efficient. And we can have some windows on that side as well. And let's see, the couch should be by the door because patients will walk right in. And the screen needs to be there, but the doctor can be somewhat to the back. And I like to put the bookcase and skeleton in here as well. Doctor often accesses the bookcase, so we'll put that... Uh, uh, we'll put that... Uh, right here, I guess. And the skeleton can go right at the back like that. There we go. And after that, as standard as we go... Oh, we can start with an operating theater straight away here, actually. Uh, actually, what I might want to do is take a huge loan and just build everything up from the get-go. But uh, let's get these pharmacies set up first. Pharmacies can be relatively small. Should we put them right here? Or should we put them like somewhere in the middle here? We could actually put it like in the middle or on this side. We could even fit a... F no, I think I'm going to put a toilet back there. So I'm going to put a... Dr. Lecter to security. Uh, oh, Hannibal Lecter, is it? <laughs> um... Let's see, where should I put this? I don't want to waste this space. I think we could squeeze it in right here. If we leave a bit of a gap there, we can actually get these pharmacies to be set up like that. One, two, three, four, five. There's actually enough space to do that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. We could do that. So pharmacy one is there and we can put a... Let's see, where should we put the doors? I want to put a pharmacy next to it, so I'm going to keep them adjacent like that. And the pharmacy cabinet right by the door. Uh, like that. And then we'll put in a second pharmacy right next to it, because in case we have any emergencies, always good. So another door there. So it's just kind of a mirror image, but uh, like that. There we go. And we're going to need to have... Uh, Let's see, what else can we build? Treatment, pharmacy, operating theater, psychiatric... Um, we could get the inflation clinic set up. Uh, how big does that have to be? That can be quite small as well. We could just stick that right on the end like that. And I know it's a bit cramped, but... Uh, not many people are gonna walk that way except for the emergency patients. So we could actually do that and just have that set up like that. Yes, that looks perfect. And the inflation machine right in there. Uh, so that looks good. Now, what else can we squeeze in here? Facilities, toilets, and uh, staff room. Can the staff room fit here? It can. So that's good. Uh, we can have the staff room right next to the training facility like that. Uh, and let's see. We'll get sofa, pool table. Ooh, we can get a video game. Nice. Uh, so let's do that, and we'll get a radiator going there straight away. So let's see, pool table, uh, how can we do this? Can we do this? Can it fit? No. Uh, and we can do that, and do that. Video game can go right there, and a TV can go... Well, that's a bit cramped. I'm gonna stick the TV right there, because they don't actually have to access the TV. And then this radiator can go right there. There we go, perfect. Lovely staff room. Now, what else can we fit in here? Uh, the warden operating theater, the research department. Uh, toilets, we kind of need toilets. Um, but let's get the research department first up. Uh, research department. Now, can it fit back here? It kind of can. Uh, or it could fit over here. Or maybe I could put the research department on this far side? I don't know, this, is, this isn't working out exactly as planned. If I do this, can I fit the door there? I can't. I gotta move all of this over. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move the pharmacies and inflation room up one tile, and I can fit a room there and a room there. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. Just give me some time. Okay, there we go. We got this uh, research department squeezed right in there. And let's see, can we actually... Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a massive loan because the actual interest payment is not that big. So I'm gonna take ooh, a maximum of 30,000, right? And I can pay it back at any time. And let's see, I'm gonna try fit in my ward here. 
Can it? No, it can't actually fit. Could it fit over here? Only if I extend it out one more square, I think. Yes, so I could cramp it in there, uh, but I definitely can't fit an operating theater in this area. Uh, Cause that, this is actually, ooh. I could fit it here if I move the pharmacies over again, uh, which I'm gonna do, okay? It doesn't actually take too long. I can just do that and put in that and that. Uh, that seems good. And that. And then we're gonna move this pharmacy over because we just need two wide, really. There's two squares here for people to walk through. And we're gonna do that and that and that and s squeeze that back in there. And then we can fit our ward over here. There we go, just like that. And we can even extend it out a bit like that. Should we extend it? No, we'll keep it like that. Uh, and then we can have our big door there and a window there. And there's already windows on that side. And we just get our desks and beds in. Uh, let's see, where is it? There we go. Uh, can fit one there and one there. There we go. So, uh, we've pretty much fit everything we need here except for operating theater. There's space for a slicer and a cast remover over here. So, uh, but besides that, we've got everything we need. So let's go ahead and hire our staff. We're gonna need a nurse in there. And we'll need another nurse for the ward. And we probably need a few doctors. Uh, let's see, what other doctors are available? Ooh, we're gonna need a researcher and... Uh, can stick him in there for now. And let's see. A second surgeon. That could be handy. But we don't need it right now. And we're currently training some other doctors to be surgeons. So let's get this psychiatrist sitting down in here. Now, it would be beneficial to let this timer run out because it'll give time to train these doctors. So if we look at the staff here, uh, Let's see, you can see they're already almost halfway to becoming surgeons, except for some of them, which I think I just put them in. But you can see the ones who have been in there, they're halfway to becoming surgeons, which is 33% trained, and that's already halfway. But uh, they could also become consultants at any time, uh, which is going to be fantastic. Uh, so, I should really just let that run. I think there's space for one more to sit down in there. But for now, uh, these doctors... We're gonna have to keep on to them to make sure, because they're consultants, researcher and consultant uh, psychiatrist, that we do have some of those around, really. You can see we got some psychiatrists. It's the surgeons which are hard to find, and the surgeons which are the most annoying. If you only have one surgeon, you can't carry out operations. So, uh, we definitely have enough doctors. Uh, I took a big loan, so we don't go bankrupt, but I'm gonna let this game run. Uh, I got plenty of money, I'm not going to pay off the loan because I'm pretty sure this is how much we pay per month. Uh, monthly interest payments, yes, which is not a lot, that's a tiny amount. Why did you step out? Oh, you became a consultant? But, uh, oh, I guess that's, that's fine too. So if they become a consultant, they don't learn the skill. But it's okay, I'm pretty sure we'll get some surgeons out of this. Let's see. Yeah, some of them should. Uh, that, that might be a handy idea of getting a junior. They'll have more time to learn specific skills like that. But here we go, the hospital's about to open. And how are you doing? You're not tired yet? Good. Uh, so, let's keep going. And the hospital will open pretty soon. There we go. And we'll leave those doctors in their training because we've got some extra doctors around. Ooh, one of my juniors has become a doctor. Good. Uh, so, let's wait for the first customer to walk in. There we go. Now, we got these extra doctors running around. They're all consultants, so uh, from what I understand, consultants will actually give a higher percentage chance on... Uh, ooh, 85% chance? Let's take a chance. Uh, consultants will give a higher percent chance of uh, curing them. So, uh, ooh, I got another consultant. There we go. Let's set our policies up. I always guess at a cure at 80% or slightly above 80% and if it's anything below that, send them home straight away. So we don't have to ask those questions. 
And that should be good. Let's see. Uh, exhausted all our diagnosis machines. Um, that's a bit odd. Send to the research department, I guess? No? Oh, I guess you go home then. Okay, uh, so we got a bunch of doctors walking around now. And they're all consultants, I'm guessing. Did we get any surgeons out of that? Some of them are almost surgeons. Like this guy. He's, he's gonna become a surgeon. He's what, 98% chance towards becoming a surgeon? Yes, good. So we're gonna get a surgeon out of that. We've discovered corrugated ankles, and there we go. Things are running quite nicely. Taking that big loan was kind of a... a good idea. Oh no, I forgot to build benches! <laughs> uh, well, let, let's first sort out our... Uh, uh, research, though. I, w I always like to focus on... Splitting up between cure equipment and drug research. There we go. And there, that's good. And let's uh, furnish these corridors. I didn't get radiators either. I'm gonna need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm getting fire extinguishers. Uh, I think nine, eight radiators. I'm gonna get uh, three drinks machines and we need a lot of benches, really. I, I think we should just start out straight with 20. And we're gonna line these hallways with benches. There we go. Uh, just like that. And out here as well. Uh, this is a bit cramped of a walkway, but it should be okay. And we can get some drinks machines. One there. One there. And can we stick one at the end here? No. Um, I guess we can just stick one right there. Now, radiators. All these rooms don't have radiators, so let's give them radiators. Uh, just like that. Uh, one there, one there, one there, one in the research room. Uh, did I need one more for the ward? I think I need one more for the ward. Let's get that. There we go. Now, we got the squits going, we got spare ribs, which will need an operating theater, which... Oh wow, an earthquake. Um, spare ribs, operating theater. Uh, I'm gonna send you home first. <laughs> oh, that earthquake really is shaking things up. Look at that. Well, okay, so, uh, things seem to be going quite well. Uh, let's get you in the research department. Uh... And, ooh, that's a bad thing, that, that slack tongue guy. Can we actually build a slack tongue clinic? We can't. I think this policy is a, a bit uh, too harsh. We should actually keep this low and uh, we'll see if we can send them to the research department instead. So, uh, did we actually get a surgeon out of that? I think we did. Yeah, we definitely have two surgeons and they're both consultants. Uh, there we go. Dr. Pogcliffe and Dr. Bison, which is going to be good. And you are... Oh, you can learn to become a surgeon as well. So there we go. That should be pretty good. we got lots of doctors walking around now. Sleeping illness. We're losing a lot of money, but we should be okay once things really get running. So let's speed things up. Ooh, someone just died. We took a chance. We have so many doctors going around. Uh, ooh, Rocket Ronnie Jepsen wants to drop by. Uh, send patient, why can't we send patient to research department? Oh, build an operating theater. Uh, no, go home for now. Ooh, emergency. What is this? Six people with the uncommon cold? Yes, I can handle that. And to be safe, I'm gonna hire another nurse. Uh, there we go. Uh, so you have two nurses, uh, well, three nurses total, actually. And uncommon colds coming in, and what else? I wanted to do something. Uh, yes. Uh, I wanted to up the temperature a bit, because I think our requirements are money. We're currently at uh, minus 3,000. Uh, we're against Holly, Deep Thought, and Zen. Uh, we've got to beat Deep Thought, right? Uh, and besides that, was I going to build something? I can't remember. Oh, we don't have a toilet. That's that's not so great. 
Uh, let's... Let's squeeze that in there. I forgot about toilets. Uh, actually, I don't want that there. I want that here. And buy two more and a radiator. There we go. It looks like the emergency patients have arrived and they're all queuing up here. We got two pharmacies running, so it should be pretty good. Uh, we have not hired any maintenance men, and that hallway is starting to stink. So let's get two of those guys going. There we go. Okay, good. Now things are running. I'm pretty sure. Uh, this student is not learning anything. Uh, go relax for a while. Okay, I think we're going to be able to cure all of these emergency patients. And this student came back, actually. Is he learning? The surgeon's still teaching? We should actually take the surgeon out of teaching and get a consultant in these two to start teaching. There we go. Any extra doctors which could be learning? No, I think we're going to be okay. There we go. So this guy could uh, go ahead and learn the researching skill if he really gets there. Ooh, let's see. The VIP... No, no, it's the emergency patients. I cured six out of six. Good, good, good. And... Uh, it's exhausted all of our diagnosis rooms. Well, I guess you gotta go home then. There's no more diagnosis rooms I could build. Uh, let's see. Kidney beans. Send... Ooh, should we... Uh, okay, get patient to wait. To build an operating theater... I don't think it can fit here. It's got to be much bigger than that. Yeah. So we're going to have to buy a plot of land here. Something that's uh, close to the helipad in case of anything. So we're going to buy this one. There we go. And we're going to build an operating theater right here. Can it fit on that side? No, it's got to fit on this side. It's got to be really big. So squeeze that there. And windows for the theater. There we go, we want the doctors to be quite comfortable. And we're gonna need a radiator in there. And get everything installed. There we go, we need that there. That there. That there. Uh, we can fit that. No. There, okay. And a radiator. Good, operating theater. And now... Uh, get patient to spare ribs, wait a while. There we go, we just got the operating theater set up. And we should be able to uh, get things running, I guess. Uh, exhausted all diagnosis. Oh, I'll go home then. I'm not sure why we can't send anyone to the research department, but uh, I don't know, maybe it's just a coincidence. I'm not sure if, I don't think I bugged it out like that. But in general, things seem to be running quite nicely. Uh, we do have that operating theatre going. There we go, two surgeons required. Uh, raise there, no problem. I don't think we need any more doctors. Things are actually running okay. Lots of them are asking for raises though. Should be okay. Because our reputation is going up, it's above 500, which means we get a decent amount of customers. And we should actually get a couple benches, an outside radiator, and a drinks machine over on this side. There we go. And a drinks machine. We'll just stick it right there. And a radiator. There we go. That should keep them nice and toasty warm. And we've cured 19 patients. We've got to cure 200, I think it was. Uh, yes, cure 200 patients. And uh, currently, our money is minus negative, well, negative 14, 15,000 there, which is not so great. Uh, sounds like someone just died as well. Um, just go home there. Killed two patients, not too bad, not too bad. Uh, go home. I think I've built all the facilities I can build for now. We'll need the, the slack tongue clinic once uh, when we can. Though we're still we're still researching things here, so it's gonna take some time. 
Uh, gut rot. Okay, good. And generally, I like the way I've set up my hospital here. It's uh, ooh, look at that. He's got all three skills, and he's gonna become a consultant soon. Good. Uh, I like the way I managed to fit so much into here. Uh, let's see, heap piles. Yes. Uh, oh, Rocket Ronnie Jepsen liked my hospital. Nice two thousand. And we can pay off some of the loan there. Uh, go home. I don't know why it keeps asking me that. Uh, the those the, the exhausted all diagnosis equipment, and I have to send them home. Shouldn't I be sending them to the research department? I'm not too sure. Uh, you want to raise? That's no problem. And Doctor has become a consultant, which means this guy, Dr. Whitsett, is a jack of all trades and master of all as well. So that should sort out anything. Uh, just make sure we don't lose Dr. Whitson here. He's gonna be the trainer for any doctor we have to hire in the future. And we can actually make some money by firing one of these nurses. We don't need this many, unless, <laughs> uh, unless uh, an emergency is going on. And besides that, I think we're, we're pretty much good. We might have one too many doctors. This guy's still teaching. Uh, you don't need to be doing that. And... Why can't I... S uh, take a chance on possible cure. Do I have to rebuild the research department? I'm not too sure. Let's, uh, let's try and move the research department over to this side. And see if that fixes this, uh, this issue. So I'm gonna put that there, put that there, and see if I put this over on this side, will it actually uh, get people to go to the research department. And the radiator, there we go. Let's see if that works. Now we can definitely fire one more doctor, as long as it's not Dr. Whitson. Uh, do we have a non-consultant doctor, or are they all consultants now? <laughs> Uh, the surgeons? Uh, they're all consultants? Really? All con How many surgeons do we have? Can we actually afford- we can actually afford to fire a surgeon. Oh, and look at that. You just happen to be asking for a raise. Well, you can get lost. There we go. Um, okay, let's go home. It looks like the research department's just not being used. Okay, we fired one doctor. And, uh, let's see. We're just getting a lot of these questions. We've exhausted all of our diagnosis machines on this patient, and we are still not sure what is wrong. Um, I can't build any more diagnosis rooms. Oh, but well, there's an emergency. Five people with transparency. I can handle that. Now, where's our, our nurses? Our nurses are both there. I'm pretty sure they need a drink, so let's get them in here. Okay. And this invisibility, look. Well, look, I'm gonna make you wait. Look, this this invisibility guy is waiting. But I can't build any more diagnosis rooms. Well, let's deal with this emergency first. And here we go. They're all showing up. Nurse required in ward. Do I actually have to hire another nurse? Uh, we don't need... A nurse in the ward unless we... Actually, no, we, we can definitely cure this. Even one pharmacy might be able to handle this. Okay. Uh, oh, there we go. End of the year. Uh, let's see. I'm currently in a negative amount there because I'm paying off my loans. Uh, and I got... Low number of deaths. Impressive cure to deaths ratio. Nobel Prize for impressing VIP. Reputation plus five. Uh, no ill gargler. High percentage of patients and squeaky clean trophy for the best reputation over the last year so we got some extra cash here that's good we can use that to pay off some of the loan there we go so things are going well uh, it's just gonna take a bit of time to really get everything going and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna skip ahead I'm just gonna uh, let the simulation run for a while and get things sorted Oh, we can actually send patients to the research department, so uh, I guess that's not a bug. Alright, so I just wanted to point that out. I'm going to continue the simulation now uh, until things really progress.
Oh, we got another emergency going now. I managed to pay off my entire loan, which is good, and we're starting to make some money. Let's see what this emergency is. Four people with bloaty head, I can handle that. We just gotta put a doctor in the inflator room. There we go. Uh, so, that's an emergency. We got a VIP footballer having a, looking, a look around the hospital, and things to be uh, running quite nicely. There's the four bloaty head victims. And uh, everything seems to be working fine. We are sending people to the research department. Where's this woman going? Oh, she's leaving. Okay. Well, there we go. Uh, ooh, we can actually fit a couple benches over here outside the inflator room. So they don't have to sit so far. But look at that. They actually... This is something definitely improvement on the AI because of the mod. Uh, they actually change seats over to this far side uh, when the queue moves, which is fantastic. Uh, so, queued 4 out of 4, got the bonus. And generally, things seem to be working quite nicely. Um, I could actually move my research department back over here, which uh, I don't have to, but uh, I think I, I kind of want to do that, actually. That's because uh, I want to make sure that it wasn't bugged out. There we go. Let's put the door back in. Come on, you gotta get out of there, handyman. And let's uh, squeeze all this stuff back in. And the radiator. There we go. Let's try do that. And we're gonna put you back in there. There we go. Let's make sure the that wasn't just bugged out, because I really like this setup. It's so efficient, squeezing everything in here. And if we ever do manage to build that slack tongue clinic, which I don't think we can yet, it can fit right here. Uh, the cast remover, however, would have to go across the way. But uh, our training room is kind of useless now. We don't really need to train anyone um, because we're keeping our doctors. Um, I guess we could actually remove the training room and uh, build something else there. The training room's only kind of important like really early on. But it's definitely a, a pro tip to start training while it's in the building, like uh, the, the setup mode. So we have that timer, so you just build this straight away, get doctors training straight away, and then uh, by the time the hospital opens, they're already halfway to learning new skills, or some of them even become consultants, which is very, very good. Uh, so do we actually have any non-consultants here, or are they all consultants? They are all consultants, good. So we're having maximum maximum chance of curage here. Now, do we need another nurse? We could hire another nurse, really. There we go. Uh, basement boiler's gone haywire. How is uh, everything going, actually? Actually, everything's looking pretty nice. Uh, our hospital needs to be worth 120,000, which means we probably have to buy another block. Uh, probably another few blocks, really. So let's go ahead and uh, buy that one, just for laughs. Uh, there we go, we got another block over there, uh, in case we do actually need to build anything. But in general, things seem to be working quite nicely. Um, no real issues going on. Ooh, earthquake. Okay, I think everything's fine. One thing I do know is that those earthquakes can take out your equipment. It can even destroy entire rooms and then you can't bulldoze it. So you have to rebuild the room somewhere else. So that's why they give you so much space to, to actually expand into. Um, but in general, that looks good. Uh, how, what's our hospital value? Still needs to be a lot more than this. Wow. 75% um, chance cure rate, really. Uh, still need, we're not even halfway to curing the number of patients we need to. Still killing a few here and there, but not too bad. So, in general, I think we can... Ooh, the new slicer has just been researched. Fantastic. A slack tongue clinic. Let's get this running. Door right there. Lots of windows for the good show. And get a radiator in there. There we go. Ooh, an emergency. Uh, four people with slack tongue. Wow, we gotta get this going right away. We're gonna need a doctor in there. You rested? No? Are you rested? Not really. Do we need two surgeons over here? I guess we do. Uh, the inflator room. Come on, we need a... I guess... 
Who's going over? Who's going over to the Slack Tank Clinic? Is it you? I hope you can. Uh, this guy would actually be better, but because um, you're rather tired. Uh, let's see. Are you actually a better suited person for the job? Yes. You go in there. There we go. Is this... No, it's Dr. Boymond. A consultant psychiatrist. I guess he's trained for this routine slack tongue procedure anyway. I mean, just look at it. It's horrible. <laughs> I like to slow it down when that happens. Just watch this. <laughs> it's one of the most gruesome things you'll see. <laughs> well, there we go. We managed to cure all four of them. So that's good. And we got this extra doctor running around. You can just wait outside because if they wait inside rooms, it's actually, they get tired. Ooh, sounds like the doctors are quite in the GP's office, but he's coming over. Dr. Boyman, to the rescue. Now, what's the temperature like? People are still really cold, so I guess we'll get some radiators going. Uh, let's do one there, one there, and we can stick a radiator right in that corner there, I guess. And we can stick a radiator out here as well, like that. That should keep people uh, chilly. Are these people waiting for the surgeon? They're waiting. Do we actually have to hire another surgeon? Any other surgeon available? No. We gotta get two surgeons over there. We should probably start training a couple more doctors. We've got some junior doctors we can hire. Let's do that. And we'll get... Is there a junior that isn't so incompetent? This is the best one, Dr. Curtin. Drives rally cars, arrogant and cocky. Well, I guess that'll do. Now, let's find our master of all trades, Dr. Whitson, is it? Yes. Oh, you're doing surgery at the moment. Okay, Dr. Whitson, you're gonna be training those kids. Although we do need another surgeon over there. Uh, do we have a, another surgeon available? Uh, surgeon, surgeon. Come on, we must have a surgeon. This guy. You. Get in surgery. And you. Where are you going? You're tired? No, no. Get get in surgery. And we're gonna staff to rest. Lower that down. We definitely need more surgeons. Oh, he just walks right out of the room. Do we not have any more surgeons? We only have two surgeons? Whitson? Ooh, this is not going so well. Kill count 100, that's good. And we got... Uh, ooh. Uh, having patients given... Oh, it looks good. Lots of nice cash rewards. Good. Uh, looks like we're having a problem here. We don't have any other surgeons. Which is uh, not so good. We should probably start training these guys on surgery. But there's two people waiting there. Uh, we should have trained more surgeons, damn it. Uh, this Dr. Whitson's just too tired, he refuses to work. So he's got to chill there for a while. Uh, and what, we just discovered slack tongue? That's not right. So we're gonna let Dr. Whitson rest up a bit. Okay. There we go. So, let's try put him over here. And we'll take this one over here and let's deal with some surgery while we're at it there we go get the surgery dealt with and then we'll continue training these guys all right let's get the surgery done with come on there's one more waiting is this another guy yeah there's another guy jeez at least uh, surgery does actually <laughs> earn us quite a bit of cash. Uh, so, yes, come, have a look at the hospital. And how much money did it actually get us? A thousand each. Uh, that's actually not that much. I thought it would be more. Well, a lot of people are coming over. We definitely need more. <laughs> more, uh, Dr. Whitson, yes. We do not have two surgeons. Let's, uh... We cured a couple, so let's continue training these newbies. We just... <laughs> I should have set this up earlier. Okay, so I'm gonna train these surgeons up, and... Uh, ooh, question? Fractured bones sent to the research department. So, uh, we're gonna try train these two new doctors up. 
Who is it? Dr. Curtin and Bill Cliff. It's gonna take him a while. Uh, fractured Bones, Research Department. Now, Whitson. Well, you, you rested up quick. Let's uh, get you back in there. And you can get back in there. Let's cure these people. There you go. LF Probs the third has just arrived to tour the hospital. Make sure everything's running smoothly. Should be okay. Now once we cure these two people, I'm gonna send Dr. Whitson back to train those newbies. Come on. Let's get this over with, lady. Come on, come on, come on. Good, okay. Dr. Whitson, not Dr. Boyson, Dr. Whitson. You are training these newbies. Teach them all of those skills they need to learn. Okay, good. So, no surgery required right now. Okay, good, everything's running smoothly. And we're gonna train up two new young surgeons. Okay, good. So, everything's running quite nicely. Our money requirements are good. We just have to cure a bunch of people and make our hospital worth more. So to make our hospital worth more, we just kind of have to buy plots of land like that. Will that bring it up to enough? No? It's got to be 120,000. Even if we buy all the plots, it doesn't quite make it to that far. It's got to be worth another 9,000. That means we've got to build rooms. I'm not sure what rooms we should be building. Well, I'm sure I'll think of something. Uh, aren't you supposed to be learning? Why did you... Why can't I pick this guy up? Dr. Curtin. There we go. You should be learning. Uh, Bill Cliff is also still learning. So it's uh, Curtin and Bill Cliff which we're training. Ooh, an emergency. A one person with kidney beans. I can handle that. Why won't you learn? I don't understand. Uh, but we're gonna need two surgeons in the operating theater. There we go. Let's deal with this emergency. And... Looks like we got two, two patients. Wait, no. Deal with the emergency one first. Jeez, come on. <laughs> well, I guess they were considered to already be in surgery. Okay, come on. Let's get the emergency dealt with. There we go. And how is our research doing, actually? We're still researching a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, let's deal with this. Uh, emergency. Good, now let's micro. Dr. Whitson, Dr. Whitson. No, not Dr. Bison, uh, Boyson. Whitson, go back to teaching these young recruits. And uh, there. Good, one out of one. Okay, so things are running quite nicely. I'm gonna skip ahead here and uh, until we at least have a couple more surgeons going around. Ooh, an emergency with five people with TV personalities. We should be able to deal with that. Yep, we got psychiatrist in the house, consultant, and we're still training up these two guys, Bill Cliff and what's his name, Curtin. And as you can see, they're going along quite nicely. They've both been promoted to doctors, and they've both become researchers, which seems to be the easiest to get. But uh, surgery, 80%, 82%, 84%, they're almost there. Once we get those two trained up, we're gonna be uh, fine and dandy. Now, shouldn't you be learning something? Get in there. Okay, good. So here's the five people with TV personalities. So let's get this sorted. And plate has been enhanced by the research department. Good, good, good. So, come on, let's get these surgeons up. One of the doctors has been promoted to psychiatrist. Uh, okay, almost there. And is, uh, there we go. 95% towards becoming a surgeon. Good, so our problem's almost solved here. And we've cured 151 patients. Now, how much is our hospital actually worth? Is, is it not worth enough? It's not. We've got enough cash though, so let's uh, let's uh, try boost the the value of our hospital. What can we build? Ooh, we don't have a fracture clinic. Why don't we have a fracture clinic? Uh, let's put one of those down then. Nice big one, just like that. 
and put those in. And uh, need the cast remover and a radiator, not a plant, a radiator. Uh, there we go. And we need a nurse. There we go. Didn't realize we could build that cast remover. Ooh, a raise of 111. Dr. Curtin. Well, oh, that's fine. So, uh, let's see. These new doctors, I think... There we go. Bill Cliff is now a surgeon. Well, it's all things. Let's try to get them... Oh, Bill Cliff and Curtin are now fully qualified, but they both can become consultants as well. So let's get them up to consultant level. And uh, we should be able to, to get things going. Uh, what is that? Uh, is that attention to detail? No, it's got... I don't know what this attention to detail is. Crablin. He's not very good, is he? Well, never mind. Uh, we're still going fine. Ooh! Earthquake. Uh, do we lose anything? No. No, we got the cast remover there. Uh, you want a raise of 100. That's fine. You've gained a lot of skills. And uh, what's our hospital value now? It's at... Uh, 11,000. How do we how do we make it worth more? I guess we could just buy a whole bunch of stuff. Let's uh let's try this. Let's get a whole bunch of plants in. That's not worth much at all, is it? <laughs> uh I guess we could just build more uh expensive facilities. Operating theaters are worth quite a lot. Let's just build two operating theaters. For laughs. I'm not sure why I have to do this. Uh, it's a bit, uh, a bit weird. There we go. And the x-ray machine. Where can it go? Did it not fit anywhere? That's strange. Let's try and move that there. There we go. Now how much is a hospital worth? Is that? Uh, there we go. Now it's worth enough. Okay, good. We just built an extra operating theater. I'm pretty sure we're not missing... Oh wait, no! We got an x-ray room! Oh! This is what we're supposed to be doing. An x-ray room. Let's get that built in. I'm not sure uh, how much this is valued at, but this... Uh... There we go. And we'll get a radiator in there. X-ray. The X-ray machine photographs people's insides using special radiation to provide staff with a good idea of what is wrong with them. The X-ray uh, requires any doctor. It also requires maintenance. So how much is our hospital worth now? 129. So that means we actually don't need this. Yeah, we'll delete that room. Which means our hospital is still worth enough? Yeah, it is. Okay, there we go. We just needed that uh, X-ray room. So let's uh, put... A few of those around. Drinks machine. There we go. And a radiator to keep you guys nice and warm. There we go. So we do have an x-ray machine. And uh, we should have... How did those two... I suppose they're qualified enough. Bill Cliff and Curtin. There we go. Things... Ooh, we do need a surgeon though. Uh... You're a surgeon, right? Yeah. You guys can get to work. Even though you're not consultants, you guys can get to work. Ooh, two surgeons required in an operating theater. Yeah, okay, we're gonna stop training, you guys. Just get to work. There we go. Yeah, you get, You don't need to be a consultant. Just get to work wherever you're needed. VIP, uh, King Bernard of the Netherlands. Come along. Have a look. And now, all we have to do is cure enough patients. Another 33 patients. Uh, 32 patients. And we're gonna be fine and dandy. We're making plenty of money, which means we can have a couple extra doctors walking around. Yeah, everything's going fantastically well. Ooh, emergency. Let's see. Seven people with fractured bones. Okay, I can handle that. I'll just hire a new nurse for here. And we just gotta get a bunch of benches. There we go. So they don't have to wait too far. Here we go, we can handle this emergency. And this is gonna help count to our 
kill count, because this is like seven people, which means it's going to bring us up to quite a nice number. Uh, 63, that's fine. There we go. Ooh, end of the year. We're now the richest, uh, that's good, and what? Same awards as last time, I think. Ooh, Ministry of Health, uh, impressive overall value of your hospital. Hospital, reputation plus three. That's nice. Okay, good. So let's deal with this, and we should be hitting our target soon. A raise, no problem. There we go, we cured all of them, 7 out of 7, get a money bonus, we're almost at 100,000 cash really. So we just need to cure another, like another 6 people. Just killed one. Okay, there we go. Uh, just a few more people and your people are quite unhappy. No, they're not. They're fine. There we go. Picture perfect hospital. I suppose it could be a, a bit more optimized, but uh, generally things are going quite nicely. And I'm not sure if we're ever using this x-ray machine. Oh, we are. Okay, let's have a look at what happens here. So a guy walks in, gets x-rayed, and that's it. Okay, pretty simple. So I suppose this sort of diagnosis equipment will improve their percentage chance of surviving. And King Bernard liked my hospital. There we go, pretty simple. X-ray machine there. Uh, also, building these extra rooms gives us more cash because when people use this, we get more cash. And also it improves their chance of surviving, which means the po policy I set means more people get on the guess at cure side. So that's good. And there we go. That's the end of Mission 5 on Theme Hospital. Dear Gamer Zach, you have been vastly successful during your tenure at this hospital. To, end, to this end, we predict great things for you and would like to offer you a position elsewhere. The salary would be $21,011 and we think you'd love the new challenge it would pose. Would you like a position at Festering on the Wold Hospital? <laughs> well, there you go, that's the end of Mission 5 in Theme Hospital, and I think this one turned out quite nicely. I think I was like really efficient in how I set up this first room, even though once we buy more buildings there's actually plenty of room to go around. So uh, that's it for now, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.